Hey guys, it's another day of a half hour build on the dresser, but before we start, Extreme Aaron made a correction on my measurement yesterday, and I don't know why I thought, but it's only four and a half inches. It's not five inches, or five and a half, like I said, so four and a half inches. But, uh, like Ramethal has already said, um, I might just go down to Lowe's and get some uh, handles and put them in the fire for a little while and, and do them up old looking yo. <laughs> I'm gonna start building. You guys enjoy the intro, and I'll see you on the other side. Yeah, and I'll see you on the other side. I can't speak today. I'm just trying to move too fast. If you guys didn't know better, you'd think I was still at work, wouldn't you? But I'm not. I'm home, and I went and cleaned up the rest of the shrubbery that was inundating the ground. So yeah, I know, blah, blah, blah. But here we go, this is what I was able to accomplish today at work, which wasn't much. I got these two pieces of wood, not only hot glued together, and I made a mistake, so that's why that's like that, but ignore that strip of hot glue. But I got these two pieces of wood glued and screwed together, and then I was able to get the spacing on this right here because on your Ranger motor, when this goes around, you want to make sure that this doesn't contact this inside point or the other bar. Um, what else? And then I, I just kind of fiddled with the correct placement for this. However, since I've been home, I have pilot driven holes and notice how it's like small on the side and like countersunk on this side. I did that because I don't want the screws going up past here. I don't want it coming out the other side. This is gonna get put up here. And I know you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. But I drilled two holes in the motor and it's kind of hard to see because there's a lot of other holes. Hold on a second. I drilled this hole and I drilled this hole over here because it's just the casing that's right there. And I kind of dr drilled, eh, God, I can't even speak, damn it. I kind of drilled a small hole to kind of look in there to make sure that I wasn't going to be contacting any kind of gears or wires or anything like that. Because those holes are what is going to mount the reindeer motor to the spacer. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Hopefully I'm going to get this done today. I'm really, really hoping, but I got to go eat, so I'll talk to you guys in a second, like right now. Honestly, I can't remember where I was on the last update, but I'm about ready to go inside and uh, take off my sunglasses because I realized I still had them on. Here's what I've done. Taking the two screws through the motor casing into this piece of plywood that you guys saw a little while ago. And this one here is not connected to here. This one is connected to here. And then this one here is glued in and screwed through. Got the spacers here. Down here, I've got the pivot here, and I've pilot drilled a hole here at the top for this to go through. And I'm in the process of doing this, which I've countersunk a bolt and a washer and tightened it on the other end. I'm thinking that this is gonna work. Um, I don't know yet though. So if it works, I'm just gonna hot glue it to the top and then pre-drill this so it doesn't split the reason for hot gluing it and pre-drilling it is because that's a really thin piece of wood. You don't want it to split. And if by chance it does split, hopefully the hot glue will continue to hold it. I'm just so excited because I'm just about ready to get this thing done. So freaking happy. You guys have no idea. The last part is going to be taking this piece of metal here and bending it up so it gets, like I said before, so it gets closer to the top. That's gonna be the hard part because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna to want to take everything apart once I get it set to to bend the one piece. So I might do something cheesy like I don't know, put a block of wood on the end of it or something. This is what we have, and I'll tell you guys, if you do this, this huge block magnet right here, the rectangle magnet, the same one you see right there, that one. Uh, do yourselves a favor and get a smaller magnet to use simply because that one there is just it's too big it's too strong and being square it doesn't allow this to pivot all it's doing right now is basically just going back and forth 
So let's see this thing from the front. And now guys, we have activation of the haunted dresser. That's very spooky. Activation number one. And activation number two. So, aside from some final wiring that I have to contend with, and I contended with that big red one, hold on. That big red one right there, there's like a lot of wires going into it, and it wasn't connecting the first time I tried this. Lori leaves out here to see the whole thing, and it didn't work. I had to go through and fix that, but um, it's done. I'm happy. Uh, this cord is meant to hang down, if you guys remember. That way I can take the screws out of the light and then pull the cord up, take the lamp and store it inside uh, along with the, the Ouija widget thingy that goes in there and both motion sensors, this one and this one here, also get contained inside the unit during the off season. So freaking awesome, just about done, just some final, <sighs> dang it. It's dark. Just some final touches and we're done, done. Done, done, done. <sighs> Tell me, guys, are yawns contagious? Mm -hmm. What time is it, baby? Besides bedtime. Commenting on comments. <laughs> C.O.C. These are my gloves. Yes, they're the same kind as Barry wears. And I got them at Crypticon in May, right? You went in May? Mm-hmm. And they're the actual work gloves, the same ones that he wears. Except mine are uh, the green tint, so glow in the dark. Ozzy1294, the 60 vlogs I got caught up on were all yours. Glad to be caught up. Love how Lori Lee was talking about Barry Weiss from Storage Wars, and then she was wearing the Skelly gloves. Skelly gloves. <laughs> Mr. Bulldozer videos, Lori Lee, are we going to see a how-to on your prop? With great stuff. Not a how-to, but how about a laugh at? Because <laughs> that's what y'all be doing when I when I play with it. <laughs> uh, we all have to... I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <sighs> Fall Apart 71. Do you charge for your home haunt, or do you just take donations? Just wondering, great ideas on the barrel. Or, idea on barrels. Um, we do take donations. This year we are going to be... Standing outside with a shotgun, making sure everybody makes a donation. <laughs> I was going to say, we're, we're actively going to say, you know, free, but yes, don't very a $5 donation appreciated or something to that nature. Um, but we also still take cans of food for uh, Northwest Harvest. So that's something that we do too. It's not just cans, I mean perishable, right? See? Yes, anything that's right. non perishable. Yeah, non perishable, yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you guys yawning along with us? Columbia Manor. Saw you got a motion sensor. I'm going to attempt to use a motion sensor with my flash cracker. I'm hoping it will work because I don't want an actor to have to sit there and keep activating it. Haven't bought it yet, but it's one of the small things to do on my list. Do you think it will work? Um, kind of like Joy Zagal uh, posted in the comments the other day, um, it's going to stay on for a very long time, and flash crackers are wearable items that will break after you know so many uses or whatever. So I would recommend finding a different way. Because, you know, even with the motion sensor on um, on test, it's still going to stay on for two to seven seconds somewhere in there. That's a long time for one of those. SJA454 Cadet. Love the berry gloves. If you have someone that is really rude in the comments, do you cock COC? Block them. Haha. <laughs> that was funny. I laughed today. I commented on it laughed my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I read that and I almost spit up my, my drink I was drinking. <laughs> I was having my tea this morning. <laughs> no, I mean, if it's something really bad, then I have no one to delete things before, but usually I just ignore them. Um, GK Eagles 10, oh, I forgot to put working on the 7th and free on the 6th for blog TV. Um, well, I'll tell you what, Jesse. 
You've got two weeks. Um, switch your shift. <laughs> um, because it, it works for us to do it on, on the 7th. Um, so we are going to do a blog TV on the 7th. Sorry, Jesse. NuxFan23, you can. I've seen a lot of people do it, even if they weren't famous. LOL, ADHD Pyromaniac. I know who not to give a lighter to. <laughs> and of course, guys, he was, well, not the lighter comment, the Pyromaniac, but uh, the aforementioned comment was him talking about um, doing a live thing on YouTube, and I did check that out, and it's they've only rolled it out to a certain number of people. I haven't been included in that list yet. So YouTube, get with it. iHacker71, do a vid on the sensor. And I believe that you're talking about the motion sensor. I haven't forgotten. I will do one very, very soon. Mean old drunk. I imagine, I do that a lot, if you can't find dresser handles that make the noise you're looking for, then I, if you had a vise to make the desired shape, you could fashion your own using all thread and eye bolts. Then you could just adjust the distance for proper banging. <laughs> <laughs> Spray paint on black, uh, flat black, and no one would know the difference. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Would you like to continue reading the cock out loud? Oh. <laughs> Sherrick97. The drawer handles you want for the dresser are called bail pull handles. You may need to just buy the 4 inch ones from Lowe's online, if not in the store, and reposition one of the holes. Mm. Again, very good suggestion. Adam's Haunted Manor. Was that your license plate? Yes. Yes, it was. I like my license plate. I tried to get a Hellmouth one, but they wouldn't let me. Damn, state of Washington. That's just so weird because of the license plate I just got. Yeah. Take that chain and spray it with brown spray paint. The continuing comment after he said because I watched his video. Make sure that it gets soaking wet and dip it in dirt and let it dry. And mm -hmm. it makes a nice aging effect. Mm -hmm. And he said, nice gloves. <laughs> um, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to take the chain like we did to the old one. We're going to burn it in the fire. Um, that strips all the mineral oils and everything like that off of it. And then we're going to subject it to water and sunshine and water and sunshine so that the thing will rust. The reason why we do that and not uh, paint or anything is because the chain's going to be moving and the paint's just going to chip off if it continues to move, or at least that's been my experience. Emerald Gypsy Heart. Swing on Amazon coming in October. Remember the bidding on Troy? My bid won. Laugh out loud, so swing it is. Huh? Huh? Hmm. What? What? Could you explain? Um, I'll take this opportunity to let everybody, since they talked about Amazon, if you guys wanted to do anything for the baby registry for Phoenix, the link is down there, and and we're not begging. I'm just saying it'd be really cool. Yeah, I mean, I picked out um, you know a bunch of cute little haunt things and little suckers and bibs and shirts and onesies and stuff. Dead CW. Well, it looks like pretty much dead cowgirl eighty two. That's what I was thinking too. Mm -hmm. I can't find barrels. Not having any luck on Craigslist, and my friend and I need barrels. Where did you find yours? I got mine from the shop that I work at, luckily. You might try an automotive shop. Um, everybody else, uh, post in the comments, because I remember somebody said before on where to get barrels. The barrel supply store. Just kidding. Sorry, not much help. Drop dead. Troy, I got you on the handles, but they were four and a half inch, not five and a half inch. Haha, <laughs> I will text you a pic tomorrow. This time, I remember the time difference. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Lee loved the gloves. No, he, he texted me the other day, and it was like butt crack early in the morning, but no, that's okay. It's no problem. Yes, no texting early in the morning. Baby needs sleep. <laughs> I um, break phone. <laughs> I break phone. That's why I turn the text alerts off. Yes. Okay. So, because text alerts on my phone are the same as Facebook, so every time I get something on Facebook, it'd, like, it'd be like 3 o'clock in the morning, and be like, ding, 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 and be like, uh -huh. Thank you, Barry. Um, and yes, they are four and a half inches, so very, very cool. Um, shoot me pictures, let me know. Nine Cat, dear Troy, turn the dresser upside down to work on the Ouija board. It'll make it hella easier. Barrels look killer. Thank you for the comments on the barrels. Um, the, uh, the, 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 that's all, folks. The dresser, if I were to turn it upside down, it would ruin the lamp and scratch up the Ouija board.
But yes, my body hurts right now, so it might have been a good idea. <laughs> I blocked my face as I was with paper cuts on my face. <laughs> or somewhere on me. Alright guys, happy hunting. See you tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> wow. I just had to. Happy hunting. Slap them, not me. You want more? Come back for seconds tomorrow! Ah!